Welcome to the Drifter.com review of the BlackBerry Bold 9780. This is a second generation Bold coming to the GSM networks near you. As you can see here, I've already started to review the home screen. You saw the one message notification that I cleared up top. All message notifications allow you to get to them very easily upon one click. And once again, scrolling through the home screen here, it looks very similar to the home screen on the Clamshell 9670. One thing that's drastically changed is the setup wizard for OS 6. It's very aesthetically pleasing and comes with a lot more options than the OS 5 setup wizard. Moving on here, a couple other features of the home screen. You can see the applications folder. All the applications are very similar. Comes with Facebook preloaded along with the podcast feeds application, RSS feeds. The camera here is redesigned and I don't have anything to focus on here. Zoom is digital. And the interface is more pleasing than previous. Now I'm sure you all want to see the WebKit browser and work here on a query device. So I'm going to start it up and head to drifter.com, my favorite website. As you can see, it loads the initial graphics very quickly. And as I scroll down here, there is some pixelation. Please keep in mind that this is a pre release device, and the entire interface and browser certainly will be sped up as RIM optimizes this feature for all the new devices to come. One cool feature that I wanted to point out here is that if you use your keyboard, push the T or the B buttons you can go to the top or bottom very easily. That's B and this is T. So scrolling from top to bottom similar to your message inbox very easily. Here's the tab browsing as well. So while one web page is open I can very easily go and open up another website. I'm going to check out my Twitter feed here to see what's going on with Willy Boy 6. You should all follow Willy Boy 6 for the latest Blackberry and hybrid related news on the internet. Phyllis just had a big win tonight, so we're very happy about that. Going to uh, tab to tab here, you can see the transition is seamless and very fast. And it's very easy to open up another tab. Also, another feature that I thought was cool is you can add a bookmark to your home screen. So. If Twitter is your favorite and you want to check it out all the time, you can just plop it right on your home screen and access it very easily. We'll open up another tab here. Another site I think you should check out is bbhybrids.net. Now this is their mobile site, but as you can see, it does load very quickly as well. So once again, popping from one tab to another tab here, you can see that the transition is nearly instant and I think that's all we're going to do for the WebKit browser for now but another th cool feature to OS 6 is the app switcher now this feature is not new but you can see the interface is slightly different instead of scrolling side to side these icons can be stacked if enough applications are open and you can also see um, a semi-transparent watermark of the previous screen you were on behind the app switcher which I thought it looked very cool. Back to the home screen here. Just going to scroll through a couple other uh, features and icons in case anybody else wanted to see them. If I had any new notifications, they'd be there. This is the search from home option. So you can type in music or anything else you want in the search bar, and you'll instantly get results that are currently on your BlackBerry or accessed easily through an application. Up here you can see scrolling to the top and pushing in my trackpad takes me to my connections, my alarm clock, anything that I might need very quick access to. So bring that switcher back up here. Again, get back to our home screen and we'll wrap this up with uh, just a general review again of the home screen. Transitions are fast and I can't wait to see the final product that RIM comes up with here because once again this is just pre-release but it is very impressive. Thanks for joining us and I hope you'll come check out more at drifter.com.